Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to use this Excel Marks template which is a template to help you keep track of your students performance in assessments throughout the year. This template will help you to keep track of up to 259 students over up to 10 assessments. So it can be used for a class or for a whole form and it can be used to keep track of assessments throughout a whole year or just a term. The template can be downloaded from this website here and here's the URL. And when you do download the template it'll look like this. Okay, so the first thing you'll probably want to do is simply chuck in some basic information about what class it is, let's say 7a, the subject, term, I might say term 1 to 4, and the year, 2011, 1 to 4. Okay, and that information is going to come through when you look at your total marks at the end of the year, marks for 7a history, term 1 to 4, 2011. Okay. Now, you'll notice in the purple here, it says the total weight is zero and this weight is not valid. Okay, so what does that mean? It means that we haven't put in any data yet. So I'm going to start by throwing in some first names, which I've now done. Okay, we've got six students in here. Okay, so let's go in and put in some marks. All right. As I said, there's room for 10 assessments, okay, and you can see a few of them here. Let's look at assessment one first. You can go and put in information about the title, description, outcomes, okay, that's all just for your records. The important thing in terms of calculating the marks are the pink cells, okay. Think of P for pink and purple as being pretty important, okay. The weight, okay, how much is this assessment worth out of its, out of your total mark? If we throw in 100 here and press enter, you'll see that over here the total weight is 100% and that's valid, okay? That means your entire assessment for the year is complete, all right? If we say, hang on, there's more than one assessment and this one, assessment number one is only worth 50%, once we hit enter, the total weight is 50 and it says no, that's not valid. Now, that's not a problem, that just means that you've got more assessments to come. So we're going to leave this at 50 because we've got assessment 2 that we're going to put in. Alright, so looking at assessment 1, this is worth 50%. But what's the mark out of? We've given the kids a, a paper and just because the assessment is worth 50% doesn't mean that the actual test has to be out of 50 marks. We might give them a quick quiz which has only got 10 questions in it. Alright, so the mark is out of 10. The next important thing to do is mark all the students present who have actually sat the test. Okay, so we're going to select present here. Okay, and I'll come back to these other options later, but let's just mark all students present for the time being. Okay, and give them all marks. Okay, I'm just going to start from the top and get lower, so we'll go up. 10 is 100% and his rank is 1 because we haven't put in any, any other marks yet. Okay, I'm going to just go down 9, 8, 7, 6. I'm going to go down to 5 and then I'm going to go down to uh, 3 for the last one. Okay, so you can see that simply plugging in the marks has calculated the percentage and the rank. Okay, and I'll show you how that will change. If we take uh, Tom's mark from 10 down to 1, his rank is going to go from 1 to 6 and the rest are calculated accordingly. All right, and back in the blue here, okay, back in the blue, we've, that's their total ranks, okay, which is obviously the same as the rank for assessment one because so far that's all that we've got. We don't have any other assessments yet. 
So I'm going to chuck Tom back up to 10, so he's number 1. And then I'm going to go and plug in some data for assessment 2. Now I'm going to call this an assessment weighted at 50% as well. Alright, and I'm going to say the marks out of 20 this time. Alright, and all these students are present, so I'll go and mark them present. Okay, and let's um, reverse the marks this time. So we'll give Tom a pretty poor mark. We'll give him 4 out of 20. Okay, which you can see is 20%. Alright, he's still ranked 1 out of... Well, he's ranked 1 here because we haven't plugged in any marks. But let's plug in Dick with, say, 9 out of 20. We'll give Harry 12. We'll go... Maybe 15, 17, and 19. All right. So, as you can see, just like with assessment one, that's worked out the rank and the percentage. And you can put a little comment next to each person if you want to for their performance in that assessment. Now, if we move back, remember, assessment one was worth 50. Assessment two was worth 50. Okay, and if we move back here, we've actually got the total marks calculated. Okay, so we can see that um, our rank is that uh, Sarah actually performed best. That's Sarah who got 70% seven, for the first assessment and 75 for the second. Okay, overall, she's performed the best and... Um, if we now go to, oh, I might just um, talk about what this means. Are all marks valid? That's another important uh, point. You might be throwing in your um, your data, and with a lot of students, you might actually accidentally do a typo. You might say that Tom's got a hundred, thinking, yeah, yeah, he's got a hundred percent. Just accidentally type in a hundred, but you've really typed in that he's got a hundred out of ten. And so what this does is it actually alerts you to the fact that you've made a mistake. You've given someone more than 100%. Okay, And so it says, no, nah, there's an invalid mark below. So you know that somewhere in this, um, in this assessment, you've got to look for something, someone who's over 100%. And there it is. It's Tom. Let's just change him back to 10. Okay. Now all marks are valid. Yep. All right. So now you've, you've actually put in marks for students for two assessments and they've added up to 100%. So you've got your total. Let's now look at your raw marks, or your, sorry, your total marks sheet, which gives you a summary of all your students and their marks. Oops, sorry. All their students and their, their overall marks and their overall rank and their overall grade. Okay, now the, the mark and the rank, that might be all that you want to print up. Okay, um, sorry, the mark might be all that you want to print up and you can just print that if you like and, and you're done. You might want the rank as well and that's there for you. With the grade, you might decide that you have a different grading system uh, to the one outlined here and that can be easily changed so let's have a look at this all you need to do is change your grade and your criteria so you might not have A, B, C, D, E and F you might have a HD okay uh, a D, a C, a, a credit, a uh, pass um, um, you might call the next one an LP maybe a low pass all right, and your criteria is basically is this mark greater than or equal to this criteria? So you might change it and you might say um, that uh, the criteria for a HD is actually 95. You just type in 95, okay, and a student will have to get greater than or equal to 95 to get a HD in this box. All right. Um, 
let's see how we can change one here. So let's say um, 70, okay. So we can see that Harry has got exactly 70. So he's therefore getting a C. But if we change the C to 65, okay, or actually we'll make it 75, you've got to get at least 75 or more to get a C, then Harry's actually not met that criteria and his mark will go down to a P. Okay, you can see that there. All right, so let's change it back again. Okay.